First up, we have one from Radu Mottison, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I've been looking forward to this one. Um, I actually requested one of these because this is an entry in the recent uh, Hackaday Prize and I liked it so much I thought, geez, I, I'll contact him and see if he's going to sell them and if I can buy one. Well, it turns out he sent me one for Nick, so thank you very much, uh, Radu, and let's check it out. Now, by the way, the uh, 60 frames per second video thing I just uh, spoke about before, um, that uh, the issue with that is that people, uh, uh, YouTube apparently, if your browser and your machine, everything else in your connection is capable of 50 or 60 frames per second, it will actually display it and use more bandwidth to, to actually display it, of course. It needs more uh, download bandwidth and it doesn't give you the option to switch back to the usual full HD at 30 frames per second, which um, uh, YouTube is used to. And personally, I can't actually view the full frame rate, 50 or 60 frames per second, on my Firefox browser. I can only view it on my Chrome browser. So it's all mixed up and crazy. So that's one of the downsides of me shooting and uploading only in 50 or 60 frames per second is that some people it might uh, force upon them uh, increased bandwidth requirements. Anyway, let me know. What have we got here? This is awesome. It's all wrapped up. I better be careful with this so I won't use the big. Uh, the big knife here because I'm uh, yeah anyway uh oh uh oh uh oh have we got one of those uh, cheap ass uh, USB plug packs I'm betting on it anyway I'm not going to power that up it's one of those silly Yankee plugs anyway um, a 5 volt USB adapter anyway I will I'm very excited about this I think it will be quite popular and I liked it. It didn't uh, make the finals in the Hackaday uh, prize. Um, but I really wanted one. And let's have a look. And I think you might too when you see it. Anyway, uh, Radu is about to sell these, or he is. Anyway, I'll link it down below. What it is, is, ta-da! The uh, URAD monitor radiation monitor. Check it out. Yes, I've got uh, face tracking uh, set on the camera this time and uh, I'm able to view that. There we go. It comes in a nice case and it uh, Ethernet network. Apparently you just hook it up and uh, it's got a um, Geiger counter uh, tube inside and uh, it detects radiation and then the whole idea is you plug these in, monitor them all around the world and you get a map of radiation patterns around the world. Terrific. Let's try it out. And here we are, we're in the uh, URAD monitor, I presume it's micro RAD uh, monitor, and it's the Global Radiation Monitoring Network. This is what I like about it. You go to the main page and bang, here it is showing all the units all the way around the world, mostly in uh, Europe at the moment. These are people who have uh, uh, bought into this thing. I think it was actually giving them away, um, uh, like all the, uh, the first run and stuff like that. I hope he's got enough uh, Geiger Muller uh, tubes to uh, keep the thing going and keep it uh, consistent. So yeah, I'm not sure uh, when you've got a comparative thing like this with all around the world, um, then you really want to uh, keep your consistent uh, calibrated data. So you'd want to use the same tube or uh, possibly uh, calibrate them or something like that. Anyway, I don't know about the details, but there's quite a few in the US. So quite a few, a lot of people have uh, signed up already and got one of these devices. And this is the reason I wanted to sign up because there's none in Sydney at all. So hopefully um, in a minute, mine will uh, pop up. I've got it plugged in and it didn't automatically detect it. So I'm going to have to go read the uh, instructions. There's one in New Zealand. Hi to all my New Zealand viewers. And uh, so I wanted to have one in Sydney here. And of course, I'll leave it in the lab, have it uh, permanently hooked up to my ethernet connection. And uh, it shows the, so here we go. Here's the one in Montana. and. Uh, there we go. Um, it shows the radiation level, the dosage in uh, micro uh, sieverts per hour and micro rems per hour um, at the annual estimate, etc. It draws a graph really quite nice. I like it. And here it is. It comes in a nice extruded aluminium case and there's nothing else on it. Uh, we have a... Uh a serial number presumably, but there's uh, nothing else except an Ethernet port and 5 volts DC. I would have preferred to have like a, a mini USB or micro USB jack directly on here, but hey, Radu does supply a, um, a DC barrel uh, adapter for it. It just would have been handier to have USB directly on there. Let's open it up quick. And here we go, there's nothing fancy in there at all. We've got our Geiger Muller tube, uh, high voltage here, you don't want to uh, uh, 
uh, go touchy-feely while it's on, and uh, there's a micro on the back and an Ethernet, um, uh, looks like a commercial uh, Ethernet uh, adapter board in there, serial Ethernet, and it's the micro red monitor, there it is. Not much to it at all, but that's all you need for a um, such a uh, Geiger counter. Now, of course, every man and his dog is doing a Geiger counter uh, kit these days, but the one I liked about this was just that the way it interfaced on the uh, map, as we'll uh, see, hopefully, in a minute when I uh, plug this thing in. And yes, it is uh, open source hardware, of course, and it should be, I believe, plug and play, because the serial number will be uh, programmed into here. Radu hasn't sent any uh, instructions with it, and I haven't read the website yet, but I believe you just uh, plug it in and uh, tell it your location, and that's pretty much it. Let's give it a go. And bingo, it looks like it is now working. But uh, unfortunately, when I first connected it to the lab network here, it didn't work at all. I got uh, no response at all, and it just, you know, it <laughs> didn't work straight out of the box. So I contacted uh, Radu, and he said that, um, uh, yeah, that's happened a couple of times on a couple of units because of, you know, weird-ass routers. I've got some bloody weird-ass router. Apparently, it's a Planet VC2230 or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I took the thing, uh, there's ways around that, you've got to set up the D DCHP and all sorts of things like that if you get an issue like that. But uh, turns out I just uh, took it home, which is where I'm going to install it anyway, because I can't install it here at the lab, actually, because I'm like in the center of a huge concrete building. And well, you know, that's going to uh, shield external uh, radiation uh, reasonably well, or it might anyway. So yeah, um, so I took it home, I'm going to leave it at uh, home. And here it is. I went home this morning, I installed it, and uh, no, for those who ask, this is not actually the location of my house, so don't get too excited. Um, there we go. So I'm getting, here it is, bingo, it pops up. There's my um, serial number, which is actually the uh, part of the MAC address uh, for the thing, and I've had it on for uh, quite a few hours now, and I'm getting currently around about 0.13 uh, uh, micro uh, sieverts per hour, 13.26 rem, and that turns out to be about, you know, the annual estimate of 1.14, which is uh, milli uh, sieverts, which is uh, below, which is around about average, average uh, dosage uh, limit you can expect from background radiation and stuff like that. And uh, there you go, the particle count in 27 uh, counts per minute. Uh, the temperature is currently uh, 33 uh, Celsius. It's got a thing in it, and um, you can get a graph of like uh, counts per minute and other stuff, which presumably you can embed that uh, live into websites or we can get the uh, temperature, for example. And also, there it is, there's a temperature graph and also the voltage on the uh, Geiger Muller tube as well. Bingo, there it is, it measures that, uh, 379 point, uh, 9.1 volts, so you can get that over time. Uh, so that is really quite neat, and it works very nicely. I just love the interface. It works so well. So this is the only monitor in Sydney, but if you guys want to uh, join the network, and yes, it was as easy as just plugging in. It simply works. Um, and yes, uh, Radu has to uh, actually ensure that each unit is individually calibrated, and he's not going to, well, he's, he thinks he might be able to release uncalibrated units, i.e. build your own and add them to the network and then flag them as uncalibrated, for example, but all the ones currently around the world are manufactured by Radu and they're all calibrated, so they're all going to uh, measure the same and you can get a nice little map around the world. So if you want one, um, links down below to Radu. So thank you very much, Radu. That's an awesome thing. And in the end, it did just work. It's my stupid router, that's all.